What's up, everybody? Let's get that, let's get that glare out your eyes there. Um, so, Hedron. Hey, y'all, Hedron. Hey, y'all know uh, Cameron, Purple Haze, and the Jamaican dude called say, hey, yo, is this Cameron? Every time I hear Hedron is what I think. Hey, yo, this Hedron? I don't know, man. So, one thing I think a lot of people aren't taking into consideration with this Hedron is the fact that it's very bullish for Hex. Very bullish for Hex. Probably the most bullish thing I've seen for Hex since Richard Hart. <laughs> this is the, Hedron's the second most bullish thing since Richard Hart, though. Um, so I'm looking at the chart on it. This guy's gonna pull right out in front of me. So I'm looking at the Hedron chart. And I'm like, I'm not gonna FOMO buy this. I wish I would've bought more at the bottom. Didn't know about the whole liquidity thing. If I would've knew about the liquidity, man, I would've bought a lot more. Not a lot more, but just more, no pun intended. Um, so, I'm looking at the chart and I'm thinking, I'm not gonna FOMO buy it. What am I gonna do here? I already don't have, man, <laughs> T-shares are something else. You might be looking at your hedron airdrop like, man, it ain't even all that. You know why it's not? Because you haven't been staking 555, sir. The people that got the most hedron staked the longest and have been staked for the longest. There are people who got millions in hedron, yo. <laughs> Just for, and it's funny, like, everybody was saying, you know, I'm not gonna be a fool. Only a fool would stake for 555. Five, five. Only a fool would stake that long. Well, they're looking pretty smart right now, man. Because they're gonna, not only do they have that, that coinage on supply, like, on demand, um, they're earning it for the whole period of the stake. Now, um, I haven't done an HSI stake yet. And what's funny about that whole thing is you don't even have to do one. You can, I did a stake yesterday just to see, cause I'm like, I'm looking at some, I'm, I have some short stakes, some stakes that I did not too long ago. And I'm thinking to myself, like, did, did um am I are, am I gonna get Hedron for these stakes that I just did with the nine X multiplier? So I went and did a test stake last night with five thousand hex, and with that five thousand hex, I earned uh they got me like seven hundred B shares. And I earned like seven thousand Hedron. No, that is not shit now you know what I'm saying? it's nothing now um just like you know 7000 x wasn't anything like i'm looking at i'm literally looking at hedron not getting my hopes up but if i want to imagine and you know speculate on it i'm looking at one to one one to ten you know on hex like so if i have one hedron i'm looking at that like one hex or ten hex so somewhere in there so if I'm earning seven and I'm earning that, and I can get it now, it's not. It wouldn't be smart to mint it now because it's not worth much. But I did the I, listen. I did the math, and Hedron at these current price levels, well, the price levels last night, is paying point zero zero four. We'll just say point zero zero five percent per day. Um, now that isn't a huge amount, it's pretty good. Um, I'll have to do the math and see how much that is. Maybe somebody put in a comment how much that is a year. Um, but that's at these price levels, and that's a bonus on top of what you were already getting. You already getting the hex at the end, and you get to earn something in the middle. So, what does that mean? Why not just stake for 15 years if I'm gonna get it all back anyway? 
I'm gonna get it all back anyway. And I already am a believer in Hex. I'm pretty much sold at this point. Why not just go ahead and stay for 555? Five, five, five? That's what we were saying when they were talking about encapsulated stakes. There's no reason, there's no reason not to, really. I mean, there are reasons not to. You know, let, let, let me go too far, but there are reasons not to. Like, you know, Hex could, something could go wrong with Hex. Uh, but the only risk, the only risk that you're really taking, that risk that you were already taking is kind of getting diluted, for the lack of a better term. You, you get to earn something in the middle now, and the thing that you're earning in the middle is pretty good. Now, if Hedron keeps going up, that 0.004% is going to go up. So if Hedron doubles now from here, it's going to be 0.01% there. Okay? See where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? So um, if Hedron continues to pump, it's going to make Hex go up a lot because the only way you can get that percentage per day is to buy hex and stake it and you might as well do it for a long time because the more t-shirts you get the more hair drawing you get the only way you get t-shirts is lock up hex it's like i don't know man it's getting kind of scary man 